can you mentally find out what is 13 times 12 in 3 seconds that is I know that you can so give it a try your time starts now your time is over well if your answer was 156 then that's terrific because you are calculating faster than the calculator in case you could not calculate at all not to worry for you know that in next four minutes you'll be able to multiply any numbers closer to base 10 in less than three seconds so let's see the usual way of multiplying 13 with 12 so 2 3 times is 6 2 1 times is 2 1 3 times is 3 1 1 times is 1 now add the numbers in the column so 6 3 plus 2 is 5 and this is 1 I know you must be getting impatient you must be saying that cut this harder way <laughs> I'm already sick and tired of it show me the smarter way so here is your smarter way the smarter way of multiplying 13 with 12 is the same base method of multiplication that we learned in the last class and yes you guessed it right the base here is 10 so since 12 is 2 more than the base so add this 2 to this entire number 13 plus 2 is correct 15 and since base 10 has 1 0 so there is one place more to go 3 2 times is 6 and that's your answer so let's take one more example and this time you try to solve it okay there you go what is 13 times 13 so first thing you did was to add this 3 to this entire number 13 plus 3 is 16 and 3 3 times is 9 so the answer is 169 okay so let's take one more example and be careful this time because I'm going to set up a trap for you what is let's say 16 times 12 add this 2 to 16 16 plus 2 is 18 now 6 2 times is 12 and you know that 12 is a 2 date number so and there is only one place here to go so carry forward one write two here so the answer is 192 see these are very common operations no matter what question of mathematics you're trying to solve you have to multiply the numbers so if you know these techniques then you'll be able to multiply quickly and correctly one of the many advantages of using these easy cal tricks is that that you can use the same trick for so many other numbers and situations with just slight modification so tell me what would be the base here when you have to multiply 23 with 21 did you say 20 yes that is precisely what the base is you take 20 as the secondary base okay now the same process again add this one to this entire number what is 1 plus 23 it is 24 but before you put down 24 here you have to double it up double of 24 is 48 now why do we double up because the secondary base 20 is 2 times the primary base isn't it 2 times 10 is 20 so we just add this digit to this entire number but before we put down the answer we just double it up now for the last digit 3 1 times is 3 so we write 3 here so the answer is 483 so okay now this time you do it and that too mentally okay so tell me what is 24 times 21 give it a try so once again add this 1 to 24 24 plus 1 is 25 and before you write down 25 you have to double it up so 25 2 times is 50 so write 50 here now one more digit to go 4 1 times is 4 so the answer is 504 now using the same logic can you tell me what would be 106 times 101 
so once again add this one to this entire number 106 plus 1 is 107 and we get the first three digits of our answer now two more to go so six times one is six so we put zero six here that is our answer 10706 as simple as that now I'm sure this time you have figured out what I have done isn't it all I have done is taken the base as 100 right so 101 is at the distance of 1 from 100 so quickly add this one to this entire number and you'll get the first three digits of your answer well even if you add this 6 to this entire number 6 plus 101 you are still going to get 107 so with this method you can never go wrong so you can absolutely relax okay now for the last two digits because base 100 has two zeros so I know that there would be two more digits to go all I do is multiply those distance so I I multiply this 6 with this one 6 times 1 is 6 so I write 0 6 here so now quickly find out what is 112 times 102 quickly the answer would be 11424 add this to 212 it would be 114 now two more digits to go so 12 two times is 24 so you put 24 here now tell me isn't that incredible that you are multiplying a three digit number with another three digit number in few seconds and that too mentally so far the numbers that we have multiplied they were all above the base isn't it like these two numbers they are above the base hundred that is they are more than that now in the next video we would be taking the other situations as well that is that when both the numbers are below the base like 98 times let's say 94 they are both below the base 100 and when one number is above and one number is below the base let's say 104 times 93 this is above the base this is below the base so we'll be practicing all these types of examples the method remains almost the same 